I got my boot signed by Pedro and his dad. And I was holding this for so long, and Rosin was also holding her boot at first. Yeah, and then I gave up, and Kevin kept going, and he got his sign. And finally, a camera guy. And he's trying to sell his boot. Maybe, so hit me up for offers. <laughs> the camera guy came up and grabbed the boot and took a picture of me with it, and then he handed it to them. And even after the camera guy was hand trying to hand them the boot, he was still hesitant on signing it, but finally they grabbed it. And the brown actually looks really good on the brown. I'm not gonna lie. Those colors go amazing. I will treasure this for as long as I can. Until I get a buyer. Uh and we're at my mom's house. <laughs> Vivica and Haley are also here. <laughs> I was not here. <laughs> And my mom was like, why didn't you call me? And it's because every time I call her, she doesn't answer. We decided that we're all going to sleep in my room tonight. <laughs> um, apparently, my bed ha is just two mattresses on top of each other. I didn't know that until today. So we just spread them out. And, you know, it fits four. We're going to be good. <laughs> Not my car's battery dying in the middle of, a, you know... This, and we have to ask someone inside for jumper cables. It's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We're trying to go. Finally, it turned green. <laughs> Car should be fine now. The light's still on. I don't know why, but we replaced the battery. I spent $200 on that. And we spent $38.47 on gas for 9.766 gallons. Gas is more expensive in Boise. $3.939 per gallon here. Foods arrived. We're at IHOP. I got the avocado toast. What'd you get, Vivica? The breakfast sandwich. <laughs> What'd you get? Me too. And I got my apple juice. She got orange juice. What'd you get? <laughs> Not this again. Oh my god. Stranded in a random maverick. Oh. <laughs> my car will not start anymore. Apparently, it's not the battery that's the problem, it's the alternate. So. Alternator. Alternator, whatever it is. Sorry, I didn't know the flash was on. So, we are gonna snack. And, um. Vivica's dad is coming to pick them up and I'm trying to find someone to stay with tonight that way I don't have to come back tomorrow and I want to call a mechanic tomorrow. Perfect way to end this trip. <laughs> They're leaving. They're going back to Blackfoot and I thought they had to grab some stuff out of my trunk and then Vivica had her coffee on hot chocolate on that. <laughs> My dad and grandpa came to pick up my car so it doesn't get towed. It was over there, but we got it to move over here because it started for a little bit, but it still kind of sucks. And I stayed the night here in Jerome with my uncle. So that was fun. And apparently they were calling me, but I was sleeping. <laughs> but my aunt has my location pinned on my phone, so she found me. Hey, yep. <laughs> oh! The tire's not on all the way. We did it. Junior. 
Both sides look good. This looks funny though. Better doing this with my family than getting it towed. While they're testing out how good it works, there's someone casually breaking into someone's car right there. <laughs> Came to AutoZone to do a free diagnostic test in Blackfoot and my battery's too dead to even check anything so he gave me the tools so I could take it out so they could charge it inside for about an hour. <sighs> After letting the car battery charge for about an hour, we went back, put it back in our car and had one of the workers do a diagnostic test on our car. Some things came up but couldn't read all of it. And then after that we took it to a mechanic shop where my dad got his car fixed and I was kind of sketched out about it because it wasn't like a big brand one. And the thing about mechanics is most of them will rip you off and overprice everything, especially if you don't know anything about cars like myself. I told him I didn't really want to go to this mechanic, but he's like, no, just go here because this is where I got my car fixed. So I ended up leaving my car there. He's going to check it. And just for the diagnostic, it's going to cost me $95. And I don't even know what's wrong with it, so... I'm gonna be spending a lot of money, and I'm gonna cry. I almost broke down yesterday because of this. I went to get a towel in my grandparents' room so I could do my hair real quick. And it was dark, and I was bending down to grab the towel, and my head was right here. And I see this dark figure, and I was so scared because we could not find alan all day so i really thought i saw a demon or something but it was just alan sleeping on the bathroom countertop what are you doing right here alan baby look at me yeah at the gym again second time unboxing video for the keys Ooh. wait that's a keychain where's the key that is the key it's a oh you tap it <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Second time going to the gym progress. I reached 175 on legs. That's all I need to remember. I reached 130 pounds, aka 59 kilograms. Car's at the shop right now, so my grandparents are driving me to work. And my grandma's rushing me for no reason. Like, chill, girl. Your work runs out of milk, so they tell you to go to the store real quick and buy four gallons of whole milk. I, it's not that far, it's just over there. But they have their own card for the store. That's so... I was lucky, like, should I buy something for myself? But I was like, no, they're gonna get mad at me. <laughs> yeah, we have our own therapy sessions here. <laughs> <laughs> Progress looking good. I look the same, but we're trying to get the butts. Yeah. The legs, and obviously the stomach. <laughs> and it's gonna take longer. We're trying to build the legs. Progress is progress. Mm -hmm. We went to Walmart. I had to buy some gummies for some fun later. Not tonight, but like you know, you never know when. And um, I got paid today. Only $633 because I barely worked that one week. And I'm not gonna say how much I got paid. She got paid double what I got. A little bit more than that, but <laughs> I'm at the car shop. My total was $372. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So I ended up paying over six hundred dollars for my car over this past week but i like the little different currency he has going on here you f him they're everywhere well usually when i come back to blackfoot i have a quarter left of gas but i have half a tank left so that's good i was going to ask vivica and rosin to pitch in for gas but um last minute rosin and i got vip 
and I ended up only paying $70, even though the tickets were 150 And I still might give her a little bit more money because I feel bad for that. And then Vivica had to end up paying her dad $20 for gas for him picking them up in Jerome. So, <sighs> a lot of money. Bruh, he charged me for the wrong car. My total was like 406. I called them and let him know. So, oh, I need to spend a little bit more. I have to go in tomorrow. My mom would always tell me to never take sweets from strangers. But this lady came through the drive-thru and she was like, we just came from a Christmas party. Would you like this cookie? And I was like, sure. And I just noticed it's supposed to be the Grinch. That's so cute. And the little plate. Flying J, I spent $20 on gas. I got 10 cents off, so I paid $3.39, which is really good. Every time I stop by Flying J now, I have to buy these because they're so good and I can eat this entire bag in one sitting. Yesterday, I hung out with this boy that I met on Tinder for the first time. He lives in IF, so. I went to IF to go see him. Uh, he's currently living with one of his friends. So the first thing we did when we got there is went inside his friend's house. And then, you know, he introduced us. I said hi. And it was kind of awkward because it was the first time we were meeting. And then he's like, you want to go for a drive? And I was like, yeah. So we went on a drive and then we were talking and after a while, he parked the car and we were still talking and then eventually his friend called him and like, bro, where are you at? Are you coming back? And then we went inside and then we were cuddling and we were watching one of his favorite shows that I've never even heard of. It's called Better Call Saul. And we were cuddling for a really long time. And eventually, we went upstairs and then we were still cuddling. We had a pretty good makeout sesh. That's it, nothing else, which I like. And then we fell asleep in each other's arms. And then we woke up. He had to go because he had a funeral to go to. And yeah, he's a really nice person. And I like his personality. He's really cute. And we're definitely going to try to hang out again. Mind you, I didn't arrive until like 2300. And we didn't go to sleep until like 7 or 8. And his first alarm clock went off at 9. And I was like, oh, are you ready? I can leave now. And he's like, no, let's cuddle a little bit longer. And that happened a few times where his alarm clock went off. And he didn't want me to leave yet. And then around 11.30, he's like, oh, I need to go. <laughs> and then I finally left. And I really wanted to do a video with him, but I didn't. So hopefully next time I'll get the courage to take a video of him. I'm a little stressed right now because I can't find my other phone, but that's besides the point. At one point, I had to go to the bathroom. And then later on, he told me that... His friend approved of me, which was a good thing because his friend has been there with him through all of his other exes, so I got the friend approval. What do you have to say for yourself? I haven't took a break yet. Neither of us have. We both have work really early tomorrow, and she wanted to come this late. I work today, so... Crackhead energy. You know, Rosalyn and I could not help ourselves and we just had to go to Taco Bell after our workout. <laughs> the Baja Blast Freeze, so good. I introduced them to them. She did. And I haven't had a taco, a hard shell taco, in so long. And I had to stick to my old vegetarian meals and I got a bean burrito too. I got two cinnamon buns. <laughs> and how much was that? 
<laughs> I don't even know, like a dollar twenty nine. Okay, I'm gonna try this on camera. Look how big these are. They're like as big as my nose. Mm! I don't think I'll ever go back to being vegetarian. <laughs> the gym instead of partying on a Friday night. We're, We're going, going up. <laughs> what is this called? A seat. No, this one. Glove okay. department. Oh yeah. Glove department, isn't it? I think so. I don't know. Jockey box? Or is that that one? <laughs> this one here. This is that one. This is a glove box. So, Rosalyn was digging through my glove department <laughs> for some napkins because I always have napkins on deck. And she saw him. And she's like, what is this? And I was like, oh, that's something I ma made. And I was like, oh, he doesn't have a name yet. Do you want to name him? So she named him Fabio. Fabio! Everybody meet Fabio. Y'all already met him, but he was unnamed. And he was left alone in the cold. I would rescue him. <laughs> she saved his life. Tell me why Sila had me come over here right after I got off of work so I look freaking crazy. He doesn't even look bad at all. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm wearing my work clothes right now. My hair's a mess. And it's just not the move. It's just not the move. Anyone got drugs? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who wants to share with us? Mm. Even though Kevin does not advocate for drug use. No, I do not. Because he's Never, a little liar. Ever. That's enough. <laughs> you, you shut your trap. <laughs> I'm loving this crossover. <laughs> Sila, me, Annika, and Brielle. Yes. 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 And Renny. Oh, yeah, but, I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> that's a good view. That's a good. That's a good um thumbnail. I love this. I passed out. Question mark. Exclamation point. I don't know.